How do you enable Instagram product tagging for your Shopify business and sell products directly from your Instagram shop? Hi everyone, I'm Lydia and on this channel we talk about social media marketing for business and how to grow online with Instagram, Pinterest, Facebook and other social media marketing strategies. If you're interested in these topics, make sure to subscribe before you leave. So if you don't know, Instagram product tagging for a Shopify business is a bit different than for any other business because the catalog creation is being made by Shopify. So you won't need to create a manual catalog, Shopify does that automatically for you. So before you even think of applying for this feature on Instagram, what you need to do is make sure that you don't have any errors in your products in your catalog. So in the products that you've listed on Shopify, on your Shopify page, make sure you have a title, a description and photos for every single one of your products because that will allow your catalog to have no errors and the application for Instagram product tagging will go a lot smoother. So now the first thing that you need in order to get Instagram shopping on your Instagram account is to have a Facebook page for your business and make sure to do the setting that that button on your Facebook page leads people to shop on your website. As well as that, make sure to have a profile image a cover image and grow your Facebook page a little bit before trying to apply because Facebook wants to see activity on your account. The next thing that you need is an Instagram business account so turn your account into a business one and after that you also need to grow your account a little bit as well. There isn't a set number of followers that you need to have or of posts or of stories posted but you do need to have your account grown a bit because otherwise you risk of getting rejected on the motive that you don't have an established presence on Instagram. So Instagram says that you need to have an established presence on the account. So basically engage with your followers, have activity on your account and basically be credible as a brand on Instagram. After you have that on your Instagram account and you connect the two through Business Manager, through Facebook Business Manager by going to Facebook Business Settings and Accounts and connect your Facebook page there and your Instagram account. Also make sure you are an admin for both of those so you are a partner with your unique Facebook account there for your business as well as an admin for your page. After that, what you'll be needing to do is to verify your domain. So to verify your domain, you have to go to your Facebook Business Manager, Brand Safety and Domains. There you will need to add your domain without the www extension, so just add incomingsuccess.com. I usually use the third method of verifying the domain, which is adding the head code in an app in Shopify. So you'll need to get that code, copy it, and then go to Shopify App Store and install the head app. Just type in head and this is the app that you need to install. Once you've done that, you will need to start the free trial. You have three days free trial and don't worry, they won't charge you, but you can start the free trial and then go to special pages, all pages site wide and add your code there. Once you save it, you'll need to wait a few minutes before Facebook will find the code in your website. So wait a few minutes, then go back to Facebook Business Manager, refresh the page and click verify. This is what you should be seeing, that your domain is verified and that the little round circle next to your domain is now green and says verified is no longer red. Another thing I want to mention about the domain verification is that you cannot apply for Instagram product tagging if you have a domain with the extension .myshopify.com. You need to purchase your own domain and you can do so from Shopify or you can go for a GoDaddy domain. The website is down below, they have a bunch of domains you can choose from. And here is how you add that domain to Shopify after you purchase it. To add your new domain to Shopify, all you need to do is sign into your Shopify account, go to sales channels and online store, and then click on domains. After that, you'll be able to buy a new domain, transfer an existing domain or connect an existing domain. So if you've already purchased a domain from GoDaddy, all you have to do is click on transfer domain and write the domain you want to add. After that, you'll be given instructions on exactly how to transfer that domain to your Shopify account. After your domain verification is done, what you need to do is to apply for product tagging. And there are two ways in which you can do that. The first way is by going to your Instagram account, just simply as everyone else does. Go to settings, business and set up Instagram shopping. From there, you'll be asked to add the Facebook page, the Facebook account that you have, the catalog, the domain 
and you'll be asked to agree with their policies. After that, you'll be able to submit your account for review. Another way you can apply for Instagram product tagging on your Shopify store is by going directly in Shopify to the Facebook sales channel app and just connect your Facebook account there, connect your page, and then they will ask you to review the shop and they will ask you to apply to have a shop on Instagram. Usually if this works and Instagram approves your account for shopping, in a few days you'll get a notification on your Instagram account saying you can start tagging products now and add a shop option will be shown on your profile. If that doesn't happen and Instagram doesn't approve your account, there are two ways in which you can appeal their decision. The first way is by going to your Instagram app to settings, business and shopping. And there you'll see the option of requesting another review and the reason which they didn't approve your account. So before you even think of applying again or requesting another review, make sure to take note of why they didn't approve before and make the changes that they ask you to make in order to get your account approved. Then you can write them a reason why you think they should approve your account and ask them to review it again. The second way, if that doesn't work as well, you can go to Shopify and the Facebook sales channel app and there you'll see the option of contacting Facebook support directly or you can do so by clicking the link below. Even if you don't have a Shopify business and are watching this, you can click the link below to contact Facebook support regarding Instagram shopping. They will ask you to add in a few details, maybe include a screenshot of what is not working and they usually respond really fast and are very helpful. So click the link below and contact them. Be sure to be signed into your Facebook account when you're doing this. Now, after you finally get approved, what's left for you to do is to start tagging products in your posts, in your stories, and of course, creating and designing a shop that is unique to your brand. And you can do that from Commerce Manager in Facebook. So there you go. This is how you apply for Instagram product tagging, even if you have a Shopify business. As I said, the process is a bit different, but it should work for you if you have a Shopify business. So that was pretty much it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this has been helpful to you. And now you know how to apply for Instagram product tagging and start an Instagram shop with your Shopify business. If you've enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave it a like and subscribe down below for more such videos every single week. You can also follow me on Instagram for IGTVs with insights on my business and income reports and all of that. And also educational reels on social media marketing. Thank you so much again for watching and I will see you in my next video.